V6 Codeless Application. This is a session that was given at Code 2012. There were two sessions to cover this topic of V6 Codeless Applications. The first was a lecture and a lab. This is covering the lab portion of the session. A V6 Codeless Application is an application that is developed in Knowledgeware. Even something like a graphic user interface can be defined using just Knowledgeware. Traditional programming languages are not required. Now that we've got some wheels generated in our database, we're ready to start building some skateboard assemblies. So first let's query the database and see what kind of parts we have available or what parts will be accessed to build the assembly. We have uh, an axle. So we have two axles. We have one axle that's a sport axle and we have another axle that's our standard axle. We have a couple wheels that we've created um, in the first part of the example. And then of course we have a template for the skateboard. Okay, utilizing all these uh, parts and templates, we're going to create brand new skateboards uh, that will be built to specification. So let's start that. We'll go to the Start menu. We'll go to our uh, custom workbench to develop skateboards. Start a new product. We're going to attach the product, the application to our product. You may notice that we have a little bit different interface here, so there's some capability um, in the automated design process that we can do uh, directly in Knowledgeware that, a, that give us much better uh, user interface and much better uh, workflow. So in this case, what we're looking at is a process that's been developed to develop our skateboard. We first need our customer specification. Then we can instantiate a board. Then we can make some axle selection. And then we can insert some wheels or make a wheel selection. So these are the steps that we're going to follow interactively to develop our, our skateboard uh, to a customer specification. So let's start with this first option here to enter our specification. And you can see I have a little user interface. This is developed directly in Knowledgeware. So we'll enter some values here. We're happy with those values okay it then we're ready to insert the board so the board is going to use those attributes or those values that we entered in the specification to overload the attributes so when we instantiate our document template of the board or our PLM template of the board um, it will be sized correctly to the customer specification Okay, so, <clears throat> so the document template for the board has been instantiated, and uh, let's verify if the values from our, our graphic user interface specification have been carried over into the board design. So let's expand that part, look at the parameters, and sure enough, there's uh, 700 millimeters for our board. And another thing that we've done is we've generated a, a constraint, a fixed constraint, so we fixed the board in space. Now we're ready to um, make an axle selection. You can see by the workflow here that the things that have already been run are green. Um, this one's uh, next up to bat, so it's yellow, and then uh, this one's on deck. So it's pretty straightforward to follow the process and know what you've uh, executed and what needs to be executed next. So now we can double click on the insert axis axle and we can make an axle selection we can pick either the standard axle or we could pick the sport axle so let's pick the uh, sport axle we want a lightweight board with high performance 
and our next operation would be to insert the wheel. Let's take a look at the engineering constraints that have been created so far. So remember we had a fixed constraint generated. Now we have two axles um, that have been constrained in the product. We're ready to insert the wheels, make the wheel selection. So again, we have two options here. These uh, wheels were generated by our wheel application earlier, and now we're ready to apply them in our um, made-to-order uh, skateboard assembly. So let's double click on wheel number two, and four wheels, four instances of the wheel have been instantiated. We can see them here in the tree, and also we've constrained each of the wheels uh, against the skateboard as well. So. So there we go, we have a made-to-order skateboard assembly and uh, you know we could continue to make more assemblies with uh, different configurations of axles and wheels or different size requirements and we have a made-to-order custom skateboard application.